Antibiotics are one of the miracles of modern medicine, but their widespread misuse is fueling the deadly spread of superbugs. Now, there's disturbing new evidence that nearly a quarter of prescriptions are wrong. David Donkin still suffers pain in his right shoulder, which was ravaged by Golden Staff, an infection he caught in hospital after a shoulder reconstruction. Had they not controlled it, I would have lost my arm. So He believes a lack of hand hygiene at the hospital was to blame. It's a simple but important step in infection control. So too, the proper use of antibiotics to help stem the spread of superbugs. There's been, of course, because of the big problem of antibiotic resistance developing in the community and hospitals, a big drive to try and improve prescribing in hospitals. A survey of 152 hospitals in Australia revealed that one in five prescriptions for antibiotics were made out inappropriately. There has to be a rollout of more education campaigns for prescribers. Many of the inappropriate prescriptions involved the use of broad-spectrum antibiotics instead of more targeted treatment and taking courses of antibiotics for too long. The study revealed 41% of patients given antibiotics for surgery were treated for more than 24 hours. That figure should be less than 5%. Any longer than 24 hours in most cases delivers no benefits and could actually increase the risk of death. And new evidence has come to light that Australian children's hospitals are lagging behind their adult counterparts in dealing with the problem of superbugs and antibiotic resistance. Only half of children's hospitals have dedicated staff to manage the appropriate use of antibiotics. Gabriella Rogers, Nine News.